What's up guys? Welcome back to another print on demand tips and tricks video. Today we are going to talk about how to resize your product designs for each product that is offered on Printify. I'm going to go through all of the products that Printify offers and tell you what size your designs need to be for each product and then I'm going to show you guys the process of how I would resize one of my t-shirt designs for each product that I go through. However, we're not going to go through every single product on Printify because that would be very tedious and time consuming, but I did make a list of the ones that I want to go through and show you guys and we are going to be going through quite a lot of them. I've had this question myself for a while and wish there was a video to answer it. I actually looked it up on YouTube and I didn't really see any other videos about this topic, so I did some research and now I'm going to put this out there for anyone else that might have the same question. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. For those of you that don't know me already, hello, my name is Meg. I make videos about making money online, trying out different side hustle ideas, and also trying out different online business ideas. So if that's something that you're interested in, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, turn on the bell so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. And I mean, while you're at it, you might as well give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And make sure to stay till the end because today we are going to talk about how to resize your product designs for each and every product. Well, not every single one because, I mean, that'd be pretty tedious and time consuming, but we are going to go through most of the products that Printify does have to offer. So first things first, for those of you that are new here where we talk about online business, you might be wondering what print on demand is. It is an e-commerce model that allows you to sell customized products that are printed only after an order has been placed on your store. This business model is like a type of drop shipping. The product doesn't actually exist until an order is placed on your store. So you never have to invest in any inventory up front. The only time where you have to pay for a product is when a customer actually orders it. And then you would pay for a print on demand fulfillment center to print, package, and ship your product to your customer. There are a lot of different print-on-demand fulfillment services out there, but the most popular ones that I know of are Printful and Printify. You can check out both of them in the links in my description of this video, but today we are going to be using Printify. This is probably going to take a long time, so let's get right into it. I created this example design just for this video, and I created the document in Photoshop because I use Photoshop to do my designs, but you can probably do this on Canva as well. But anyways, I created this in the standard t-shirt size which is 4500 by 5700 pixels and I'm going to show you guys how it would look on a t-shirt on Printify. So I'm going to go on to printify.com and we are going to choose this unisex jersey, the Bella Canvas 3001 and I'm going to click start designing. This is just to show you guys an example and as you can see here because I have the correct t-shirt design size it's going to say high resolution. If it doesn't say that, if it says like low resolution that's how you know that it's not the correct size. And also another thing that's super important when you are creating these designs, in case you don't already know this, make sure that you're saving them as PNGs or PSD files if you're using Photoshop. Make sure that you're not saving them as JPEGs because then there's going to be the background and it's going to look bad on any other color t-shirt besides white and it might even look bad on the white t-shirt as well. You want to make sure that you have the transparent background. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the hoodie and show you guys how to resize that and what dimensions you want your hoodie to be. So I'm going to go back to Photoshop. Okay, so a Gildan hoodie, which is the hoodie that I like to use, would be 4200 by 3000 pixels. So now I'm going to reopen my Photoshop file for this example. Right now it's still in the standard t-shirt size, so I'm going to click file and come down to export and click save for web. You want to press this click to toggle retaining original image proportions. So right here I'm going to type in 4200 and it will automatically adjust the height. But if I click that, then I can adjust the height myself, which is super important. It's going to change the way that the image looks a little bit, but I feel like this is still the most convenient way of doing it without like redesigning every single thing. You're definitely going to want to use the same design for multiple 
Apple products. So yeah, you want to make sure that you are clicking that toggle button. Okay, so this is the unisex heavy blend hoodie, the Gildan 18,500. And as you can see, the recommended size is 4,200 by 3,000 pixels. And I'm going to put it on this hoodie. And as you can see, it's high resolution. Yeah, now I'm gonna go back and I'm going to show you guys how to do the tank top. And up here, I'm gonna click file, export, save for web. We're gonna be using the Bella Canvas unisex jersey tank top. The ideal design size in pixels for this tank top is 3600 by 4800 pixels. So where it says image size, I'm going to type in 3600. And like I said, again, it automatically changed it. So I'm going to click the toggle button so that I can change it myself. Then I can make the height 4800 without it automatically adjusting. So I'm going to click save. Okay, so now I can go back to printify and I can start designing. And as you can see, the recommended size for this is 3600 by 4800 pixels. And that's what a tank top is going to look like. Since it's summertime and also since I don't want this video to go on forever, I'm not going to go through any more of the clothes like the long sleeves. So we're going to move on to some of the accessories. In accessories, we are going to start with the phone case. I'm going to resize my design in Photoshop for this phone case. The ideal size for a phone case on Printify is 1140 by 2010 pixels. So I'm going to again open my original Photoshop PSD file and I'm going to come down to export and save for web. And then where it says image size, I'm just going to type in 1140 again toggle so that doesn't change automatically. And then height is 2010. So then I'm going to click save. Okay, so now I can come back to Printify and start designing this phone case and add my design. As you can see, again, recommended size 1140 by 2010 pixels. So I'm going to add my design. Okay, and again, it says high resolution because that's the correct size. If that wasn't the correct size, if it was too small, it would say like medium resolution, which I guess would be okay, kind of, or it's going to say low resolution if it's really really bad. So <laughs> that's the phone case. And now we're going to come to socks. For the sock example, I'm going to show you guys the sublimination socks. The ideal design size for Printify's socks is 1334 by 5597 pixels. I think you guys understand what I'm trying to show you guys by resizing it. And it's pretty much going to be the same process for every different product, which you guys can see the recommended file size. If you just go into Printify and you click start designing, you can find the recommended size that you should create your design in Photoshop. So I'm not going to show you guys the entire process because I'm starting to realize how long this is actually going to be. And instead, I'm just going to tell you guys the rest of the dimensions for each product. I'm just going to go down my list because I did create a list and not every single product is on it, but a lot of them are. So I'm going to go down my list and tell you guys the dimensions, which again, you guys can find if you just go on to Printify and then you click start designing on any product. It's going to show you the recommended size and then you would come into Photoshop or whatever design software that you're using and you just create a new document with those dimensions. So now I'm just going to go down the list of my products that I have here and just read you guys the recommended sizes for each of them. Okay, so the next Printify product that we have on this list is the AOP tote bag and the recommended size dimensions for this product is 2925 by 5850 pixels. Next up, we have the fanny pack on Printify. The recommended size dimensions for this product is 2323 by 840. 46 pixels. After that, we have the laptop sleeve. The recommended dimensions for this product are 4125 by 3000 pixels. All right, and next up we have the classic backpack. The recommended size for this product is 4080 pixels by 5506 pixels. Next up, we have the unisex twill hat. The recommended size dimensions for this product is 1200 by 720 pixels. And after that, we have the knit beanie, which is also 1200 by 720 pixels. All right, next up, the custom pin buttons are 518 by 518 pixels. Next up, we have the apron and the recommended size for this product is 4350 by 4783 pixels. Next up, we have the watch band. I think this is pretty cool. The recommended size for this product is 306 by 2740 pixels. Okay, and next up, we have the posters. The recommended size 
size for the posters are 7200 by 10,800 pixels. Next up, we have the canvas. Uh, this is one of my favorite products and I'm super excited because I want to do another challenge with the canvases. But anyways, the recommended size for the canvas is 4181 by 3581 pixels. And after that, we have the indoor wall tapestry. The recommended size for that is 4350 by 5850 pixels. Next up, we have the wall clock, another interesting one that Printify offers. The recommended size for the clock is 3000 by 3000 pixels. Okay, after that, we have the polyester blanket. The recommended size for this product is 6000 by 7500 pixels. After that, we have the hooded blanket. This is another interesting one, I think, at least, that Printify has. And the recommended size for this product is 12,000 by 8397 pixels. All right, next up, we have the 11 ounce mug. The recommended size for this product is 2700 by 1119 pixels. All right, and after that, we have the stainless steel water bottle, which the recommended size for this product is 2400 by 1500 pixels. All right, next we have the pet bed. The recommended size for the pet bed is 12,750 pixels by 9,750 pixels. All right, and the last one that I'm going to go over, like I said, you guys can easily find all this information on Printify if you just click start designing for any of their products. It'll show you guys the recommended size and the recommended size for the Kiss Cut sticker is 559 by 559 pixels. Sorry if I went a little fast in this video. I just wanted to get through as many of the different products as I possibly could, but I hope you guys got some value out of this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'm going to end this video right here. I have a lot of ideas for next week, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to turn on the bell so that you're notified for these next videos because I'm super excited. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.